What's up guys, I'm gonna give you guys 10 reasons why Cabo San Lucas is absolutely 100% better than your city. And here we go, number one, it's the girls. The girls, they're way hotter than you. No, just kidding, that's number eight. I'm gonna get to that. Number one is the weather. It's nice here, basically all year long. Maybe we have a couple of months that some people say are bad. I say it's not bad. I say that the weather here is good 365 days out of the year. And that's because I come from Washington state where for me, the weather is pretty much bad nine to 10 months out of the year. Cabo is amazing. That is number one. And here we go, number two. Cabo is one of the safest cities in Mexico and in Latin America, and that is because we rely a lot on the tourism. So any sort of crime or any sort of things that would happen to the tourist, it would be bad for the entire community. So as a whole, we don't let that happen. There's rules against this, not only actual laws, but rules in the streets, if you know what I'm saying. So we keep our people safe. Again, of course, if you were doing something ridiculous, you could have a problem, but still one of the safest cities in the world. World. Let's go, baby. All right, before I get into number three, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe Cabo's not the best. I have a question for you if I am. What city is better than Cabo San Lucas? What city has better weather? What city has better people? Put it in the comments. Let me know because this isn't a dictatorship. I'm curious to know. Maybe if there's a better city, I will move. I will take my stuff. I will leave here. I will change my name from BK Cabo to BK Wisconsin or BK Alaska. I don't know, maybe BK Vancouver, Canada. You tell me what city's better and I will literally pack up my stuff. I will move there. I can make some videos for you guys about that city, all right? So let me know in the comments below. All right, number three is the fact that you can leverage your life. You can live a very good life here for the same amount of money that you made back in the States. Let's say, for example, you had $3,000 a month. Maybe you had a one bedroom apartment in California. But here in Cabo, you can buy a really nice place for that same budget that you had in New York or in California or in some of these other really expensive cities back in the States or back in Canada. And here we go, number four. Number four is there is a lot of opportunity here. Meaning there is, people sometimes think of Mexico like it doesn't have money. And for one, you're crazy. Cabo is one of the richest cities in Latin America. There is a ton of money here. It has the one of the most expensive marinas in the world. I mean, we're talking multi-million dollar yachts. I mean, we have some properties here that are 40, 50 million dollar properties. Of course, it has all different levels, but Cabo is a very wealthy city, a very expensive city as well. I mean, it's nowhere near as affordable as, say, for example, Guadalajara or Pueblo or Mexico City. But for that reason, a lot of people move here for the opportunity. A lot of nationals, locals move here as well. And of course, you see a lot of foreigners moving here to take advantage of some of these opportunities to ways to make that money, baby. That's what we're trying to do, right? Number five. Number five is Cabo is a small city with a big attitude, with a lot going on. We've got parties, we've got fiestas, we've got cultural events, we've got tons of different community activities. If you want to work with different charities, I personally work with Casa Hogarth. It's like a, an orphanage for kids who need some help, some things like that. We're a big art community. We have tons of different paintings. There's art walks on Thursday in San Jose and Fridays here in San Lucas. A lot of live music as well here in the community. So whatever it is, I mean, it's not a big city, but there's a ton to do. I never get bored and I doubt that you will either. Number six, kind of like I mentioned in number five, there's really something for everyone. Meaning we have golf, we have snorkeling, we have surfing, we have fishing. One of the biggest fishing capitals of the world. Myself, I like to play cards. A lot of people don't know this, but we have a couple casinos here as well. We have a lot of underground poker games. There's a, a big, of course, everybody knows we have the big nightlife here as well. You know, we have a lot of different raves and different parties. So there's always something for everyone. Really, no matter what your flavor, we have something for you. Number seven is easy immigration. Most most countries in the world, America, Canada, extremely difficult to get into. Myself, actually, when I was living in Thailand, it was very hard to live there. I had to leave the country every few months, get a new visa, come back leave the country, get a visa, come back. And I did that for almost five years and actually got very tiring, you know, leaving the country all the time to get a new visa, you know, otherwise you gotta marry somebody, maybe you don't wanna marry that person, you know what I'm saying, you gotta get that visa. But Mexico and Cabo specifically, it's really inviting for people to come here to help the community grow. They've learned that the more money that gets put into here, the more that the community grows as a whole. Kind of similar to how America did in the beginning, when it was growing and was so prosperous. 
So number eight, this was my number one. It is all the beautiful ladies. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm not actually. The there is a ton of beautiful girls here. There's also a lot of beautiful guys as well. The people in general here are very nice. It's not like, let's say for example, Hawaii has a very bad reputation for you know not being that nice to tourists. They don't really like people coming in and stealing their waves, so to speak. Cabo, on the other hand, is, is extremely nice. I remember when I was first here and I was kind of down in a rough neighborhood and I was carrying my, my bag and some people literally just stopped and asked me if I wanted a ride. And I said, heck yeah, I do because it's hot as hell out here and I'm a gringo frying in the sun. So I jumped in and they gave me a ride to my hotel and you know I never knew these people. I've never had an issue of really any problems at all. You know, I really much believe if you're nice to people, people are gonna be nice to you here too. I've never had an issue in Mexico ever, but again, I really think that's kind of whatever you put out, you will receive. Okay, number nine is the food. The food here is amazing. There's so many different restaurants here. I've lived here for basically almost four years now and I'm still finding new restaurants that I like that I didn't know was there. You're always finding these new little spots that pop up or maybe a friend recommends you a nice spot and you go check it out and you're like, man, this is amazing. We have a new Colombian restaurant that just opened up that I just tried, very good, you need to check it out. Restaurants for days, so if you're a foodie, very good spot. I mean, Cabo in general, I'm not gonna lie and say it has the best food in Mexico, but when you compare it to like the States or some places like that, the food here is very, very good. And really there's something for everyone. Number 10, number 10, this is the biggest one for me. I call it Mexico, the land of the free, or Cabo, the land of the free, actually. And that's because in America and in Canada, we have so many rules and regulations and things that, you know, where they try to restrain how you can kind of live your life. I feel that it is a bit more free here, a bit more Wild West as well, but I believe that it gives you more, more opportunity, more freedom. I've been to almost 30 countries and I feel like Mexico is one of the freest countries in the world. If that's something that you like, if that's something that you're looking for, you need to come check it out. Okay guys, I have one more bonus for you, one more bonus tip, but before I give that to you, Guys, it would really help me a ton if you could please, please hit the like and subscribe button. It takes a lot of work and energy to make these videos. I mean, today I was already, you know, been working since early in the morning, did a bunch of showings, you know, some closings on a property, and then still try to make time to, to make these videos. It's sometimes uh, a bit exhausting, and I wanna keep doing it for you guys, but I do need some help. If you really could like and subscribe, that would help a ton. All right, now here is the bonus for you. It is not the resorts, it is not all the different tours, it's not all the party spots, it's not all the bars, the golf courses, the massive yachts, again, again, the beautiful ladies. It is a combination of everything for me, me personally. For me, it checks all my boxes, all the things that I look for. If you guys have something different, please put it in the comments and let me know because I'm curious. I'd like to learn, you know, what other cities are out there. If I get a vacation, I wanna come check it out. So please let me know. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I definitely appreciate the love and the support, the positive feedback that I've been getting lately. I really appreciate that guys so much. All right, and I will see you guys on the next video. Lola, Lola, say bye, baby. Bye, right, my chicos.